Well, I'm on my way back to Fort Knox, <clears throat> and uh, well, I'm not getting the LASIK surgery. Um, definitely, definitely hits me as a blow because one of the big prime reasons I joined the military, one of the biggest motivational incentives for me was I wanted to get LASIK surgery. Um, well, that's not happening now. I, uh, I guess I've got my, the lady said, yeah, I have an irregular astigmatism. That means they can't really do much and if they did it, it could cause me more harm than good down the road. So, she, uh, told me she's not going to do it. She's not going to let me go ahead through, get the surgery. She said, maybe in a few years when my eyes aren't, the topography of my eyes are, I guess, not shifting or changing or something, whatever the fuck that means, uh, she'll do it then. So, yeah. <clears throat> not getting the surgery, which really, really sucks, because, uh, y'all don't know how bad I hate my glasses. Y'all don't know how bad I hate wearing them all the time and squinting to see in the distance, because glasses are such an inconvenience. And the idea of going downrange and not having glasses to see the enemy in which to protect myself and to, sh you know, it sucks. It really, really sucks. But the funny thing is, is I kind of expected it, you know? Uh, things never really work out for me. Um, I mean, I can set a goal and I can achieve it, but... There's always a dark cloud behind everything I do. No matter how good it, it seems things have become, there's always some little snag that sucks me back down. Uh, maybe, maybe because, I don't know. I try to stay positive about things, you know? And I, I, I try to keep uplifted, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of hitting a low right now because... I got a lot of things going on in my head, y'all, and, uh, you know, it sucks. Every... Everything I do always has some sort of catch and a snag, and, you know, it's like, no matter how hard I try to accomplish what I want, I don't always get it, you know? I mean, I know we don't always get what we want. I mean, I learned that a long time ago, trust me. But... It, it, it drives me nuts, y'all. I mean, I see people, you know, I mean, they've got they've got money and success and happiness and all the stuff working out for them. You know, and I, I bust my ass trying to make a little bit of headway just to survive. And there's always something cutting the rug out from under me. You know, I can never get ahead. I can never, I can never accomplish... The entirety of what I want to accomplish, um, and I mean, I never give up. I, I always keep trucking on and keep working hard, and yet I'm always shafted in the end. So, I mean, I don't know. That's just that's just kind of how things are for me, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm I'm destined to be that guy. Uh, I I can go further into this stuff, but it's not stuff that I feel like sharing with just anybody, and, uh, yeah, y'all don't need to know everything, so, <clears throat> yeah, I've come to determine, you know, I'm just, just gotta make do with what I got and what I get, I guess, so, anyways, well, uh, that's the situation with that, I'm headed back home, gotta get back so I can get ready to get out, meet the rest of the squad out in the field. Okay, yeah, I'm going out in the field for a week. What could he do? No big deal to me. I'm not really looking forward to it. My, my motivation for anything in the military is completely crusted and fallen down now. Um, it's, not that I, it's not that I got anything wrong with the military, but everything that I set out to do and, and I wanted is not working out, like I was saying earlier. So my motivation 
is uh, is definitely dropped for everything. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not. I'm in the same boat that I was a year ago, y'all. The only difference is, is I got a car now. I got a fancier phone and a YouTube account. That's about all that's changed, you know. I mean, hell, I was making more money at my last job, you know, before I got laid off, you know. And I was actually driving. I joined the army to be a truck driver, and I haven't driven shit. So, I'm looking forward to getting downrange. I'm gonna get down there, and I'm gonna get to finally work and do what I joined the army to do, you know. So, I definitely believe when my uh, time and service is over with, I'm gonna try to get on with the railroad and see how that pans out. Probably. Probably won't happen because that's the way everything else works out for me. But hey, you know what? I gotta at least give it a shot again. I've tried, uh, I think, three, two or three times now with Union Pacific, and I'm gonna try again because uh, you know that's that's one career I've always wanted to do since I was itty bitty boy is drive trains. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make that happen. Hopefully. So. Anyways, I'm going to be out in the field for a week, so I'm going to get these videos up before I head out. And uh, I'll see y'all when I get back, and maybe I'll have something interesting to talk about. We'll see. So, take it easy, and uh, keep watching. Peace.